on this episode of Saving Private Good Boy. Toby, help! I need help! I need healing! Toby, there's a sniper! Help! Help! He's leaving me! I've read your comments. You guys have said you never revisit this project. Well, you guys are actually probably right. But you're wrong in this case because we're actually gonna revisit the amphibious boat vehicle. Bye bye, oh. loser. Uh, we had problems last time, such as the chain drive exploding, the propeller gear ratio being wrong, and some other things that kind of suck. I have successfully made a boat that pumps water into itself. <laughs> this time, we're gonna modify it to make it look like the BRDM2, featured in PUBG Mobile, our sponsor for this video. PUBG Mobile is one of the most played games in the world, with over 700 million downloads in the last two years. It's a free-to-play mobile title where up to 100 players parachute onto an island to battle in a winner-takes-all showdown. PUBG Mobile has just released the new Mad Miramar update, which will feature some new additions to the classic Miramar map, including an added oasis and racetrack, as well as introducing new weapon updates and many more exciting new features. Royale Pass Season 13 has just started and features a toy playground theme with rare outfits like the Ice and Fire Ranger. There's also a new cheer park where you can interact with other players in real time, view their stats, squad up, and even roast chicken together. PUBG Mobile is the perfect game on the go. It's perfect for when I'm waiting for Dave to finish editing my videos and waiting for my welds to cool down. So click the link in the description, check out the game for free, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Anyways, it's time to actually modify this vehicle because we got a lot of work to do. It's time to tear down. Out with this old junky gas motor and out with the crappy frame. Now we're actually gonna cut this plate out. Mmm, that caulking is still a little juicy. So we're gonna use some really thick steel this time. It's super thick. It's actually one and a half inch eighth inch steel wall tubing because we definitely want to make sure this thing doesn't move anywhere since the last time we had these problems the frame was like weld this thing up now it's time to use our cnc plasma cutter to knock out some of these parts huge thanks to one of my friends for hooking us up with this machine a little bit more later This is the Amazon brushless go-kart motor kit. Install the chain. Now I'm actually taking apart a brushless trolling motor too, also from Amazon. Cut down the trolling motor shaft and do some quick soldering and stick the motor into the base. The way we did this last time with the trolling motor hanging off the back was a little bit of a cop out. So this is a little more integrated. Now it's time to go ahead and plug in the go-kart parts to make sure this thing actually works. Tighten down the tensioner bolts and plug it in. Let's see if this Amazon go-kart kit works. You gonna pick it up? Oh, but that doesn't look very good, but at least it works. Oh, it works! I don't like full power. Before you drive this, we got this last time and forgot to put it on. The most oh, important the thing. <laughs> wow. Uh, in case of emergency, just yank the wires. Got it. So then let's turn this on. Turn it on. Click. All right, let's see it. And you should be good to go. Wow. Hey! That works pretty good. Oh, it's so quiet. Full power! All right, that's pretty good. It's actually not very torquey, but the top end's pretty good because the gearing is a little bit off. Right now, this motor is like not maximum amount of torque, but a good amount of high end speed because this thing actually does go kind of fast, faster than I want it to. What we need to do is reduce the gearing, so we need a smaller pinion gear and a larger spur gear to change that ratio up, because this thing needs more torque. Out with the old plate and in for some upgrades. Also, huge thanks to Everlast for hooking us up with the plasma cutter for our CSC machine. It makes making these parts super easy and super quick. Now it's time to build our wheel speed reduction unit. Actually, we're gonna drop down the ratio even further by adding a series of gears and pulleys to kind of reduce the overall speed of the wheels, but increasing the torque. 
not gonna bend this time, that's for sure. Also, we're upgrading to hydraulic brakes this time rather than the crappy drum, cylinder, and cable. We had problems stopping last time, and this time we will be able to stop for sure and keep from us from running over small children. Adding a little bit more reduction, we're gonna go for maximum torque and low top end speed because I don't really care about going fast in a John boat. I just wanna care about getting out of the water in a reasonable time frame. Tighten up the tensioner, do the last bit of wrenching on this thing, adjust the rudder cables, hook up the ESC and caulk up the last bit of the frame and keep water out of this thing. Although I still think it's probably gonna leak because we didn't do a very good job of sealing up all the holes. Rudder cable still works, same as last time. That is a lot better. I was mostly just giving it a little bit of gas. If I kept going, oh, uh, uh, so now one, one takes off a lot smoother. Problem at all. Yeah, it's got power. Uh... All right, Look, let's it, fix this thing up and let's go. It even has these finger pinching potentials. Sweet. Ram, 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 ram. So last time I was out here, it was gas powered and the chain exploded. I think. And it almost killed you. Yeah, that was like a year ago. It should be better this time. don't matter because it goes really fast backwards in one. That's pretty cool. This actually looks pretty cool from this point of view. That's army themed. What's up gamers? Okay, we are done with the build. I am exhausted. We are finished with the build. It is cardboard, foam, and tape, and some other stuff. It's like the BDRM2, except it's skipped leg day because the wheels are awfully small, but the rest of it looks pretty good, especially from the front. I like it. It's time to take it for some real trials. We got a creek in this backyard, and we're gonna take it down there, and we're gonna see how it performs with these new electric upgrades and the better trolling motor. So let's see what it does.
suck. Yeah, I just dig myself a hole. It's all done. All right. Well, it appears the creek has kind of filled up with a bit of water. We do see beavers, however, but there's no real gravel spots where we can actually get all the water. So unfortunately, this is kind of a bust. We have to go back to Eastwood Lake. Let's go. Look at that duck, that's so weird. Anyways, so that didn't work out quite well at home. Turns out the creek was actually a little bit high. We couldn't really find much gravel to run into. So we're gonna come back here to the normal lake. But I have one more thing I wanna do after we get some cool B-roll of this thing driving around. There appears to be water coming out of my boat. I forgot to put the bilge plug in, and now it's full of water again for the second time. You think I would learn a lesson the first time, but probably not. So that was sick. It did the exact same things it did last year. But my last trick is the boat ramp because we don't know if it's gonna go exactly up the boat ramp. I know it'll go down to the boat ramp, no problem. But we're gonna see if we can go up. So let's try that next. So I think that concludes this second part of the project. We actually did revisit it. It's better than it was, except for the cardboard. But it looks pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, the electric drive works good. The trolling motor works great. We broke a few props and we learned something. If you want to see part three, say something down below. We'll definitely look into doing it. Maybe four will drive next time. But yeah, I'm leaving. Bye, Peter. See you later.